right, been a while. Been working on some new stuff, which I'm gonna show you today. So, um, I'm gonna have like a new little series. Ever since this uh, coronavirus thing started happening, uh, you know, everything slowed down. There's no art festivals. People aren't really spending money on ceramics as much. So I was like, man, that sucks. But there, um, I was listening to the news, and they said that three industries that are still doing really well are um, alcohol, coffee, and cannabis in the legal states, probably in the illegal states too, but so I figured I'd do something themed around that and see if I can't sell some of those. So first off, um, I just, uh, I was looking at some like old car parts and stuff and so I was kind of um, thinking of making some uh, pipes out of those kind of forms and um, I got sidetracked one day and I noticed a can of spray paint and I was like, hey man, that might look like something interesting. So I made um, made this. This is like a spray paint shaped bubbler. Um, it's got like a little carb here. You know, the pot's going here. You suck on this little guy. But yeah, <clears throat> so it's got um, some stenciling that I did on it, just kind of make it look like a spray paint can, you know. Nothing too fantastic, but I cut these out of uh, paper. Um, let's see if I can... So I just, I have a paper cutter, you know, like a Cricut or whatever. And so I just had it cut out, you know, the words and all that. And then uh, I just used water to attach the stencils onto this. But <clears throat> I thought this was pretty cool. So I decided to make a couple more. And I thought I'd show you guys um, all the, you know, throwing and stuff that's involved with that. And hey, maybe you can revive your uh, ceramics career too. I don't know. I haven't sold any yet, but hoping those are the things that are selling well right now. So, um, so yeah, let's get started. So first is like <clears throat> I'm just gonna throw the body, and uh, I'm using <clears throat> two pound ball of clay. Um, I haven't been like measuring um, how tall I'm making them or anything, but a two pound ball makes something like. A little bit bigger than that. Yeah, I've got several in the works here, but I'm gonna throw one, another one here. Throw all the parts for it, and then uh, put it together. So <clears throat> nothing special as far as the uh, main body. It's just uh, a straight cylinder, and this is probably too much clay. I haven't been measuring, but... I always cut it off if it's too tall. So just centering down my piece of clay here. too much but let's open it up I've been leaving the bottoms just a little thick uh, since there's uh, the mouthpiece is kind of cantilevered off so kind of want a lower center of gravity on this just uh, so it doesn't tip over easily. I'm just gonna compress the bottom there. Just 
throwing a cylinder. Rip to compress the wall, straighten it out a bit, even it. using our the square edge of uh, my rib here and just gently pushing down make a little inner lip here like if we were going to throw a, uh, a lidded uh, form and this little lip here I'm just going to thin it out that rolled edge look um, that rolled metal type of finish on it <clears throat> like on a regular uh, spray paint can and then uh, just with the pointy end of my rib I just dig down here and kind of do the same thing so I'm going to cut this take my sponge and, and roll it down with the sponge. Like that. Now I'll uh, kind of straighten and smooth this with the uh, metal rib here. So that's the body done, and then you take your calipers and measure from the inside of that rolled rim um, for the next piece, which is going to be the the uh, domed lid, or domed, uh, I don't even know what you call it, the top part. So I got that. So next one I just take off a little little baby chunk, maybe half a pound or something, I'm not going to use it all. But I have a hard time um, centering these small amounts with the big hands, so
So I just um, center down to the opening. I'm gonna have to adjust it later too, but it's a good starting point. Um, open all the way to the wheel head. This is the step where I cut off um, quite a bit of this. We're just do something like that. And take our scalpel here. <coughs> Perfect. Now I'll uh, <clears throat> use a rib to kind of close this up a bit. When I cut the extra off, I cut it at about a 45 degree angle, and that's important for later um, when we set the, the down stem in there. You'll see. So just use a flexible metal rib and kind of just lay it down into a dome shape. kind of dome you prefer. Um, I looked at a few different brands and none of them are totally dome shaped but it's a, it's a good approximation. Um, it's recognizable. So I'm just doing a little dome here. I'm going to go ahead and cut that 45 degree angle. So there's the, the dome for the top of that. It's just going to be attached there later. <clears throat> now we'll do the, uh, the down stem. So for these, um, I've just been throwing them off the hump because there's an, it doesn't take a lot of clay and um, I can make several at once, so we just take our big lumpy lump there. This is another two pound chunk of clay. Or around that. on here. Take yourself off a, a nice little chunk. Um, you're not going to use it all, but um, I like having a good tapered, long um, tube for this. So this is the piece that it's going to look like this and that sits down in the top of that dome and that's what how the you know smoke and everything gets down to the water so just uh, kind of throwing a, a, a funnel with a long skinny neck So the thinner you're able to make this, the walls of this right now in this stage when it's like a cup, the um, the 
thinner it'll be once you collar it in. <clears throat> so I'm just spending a little time getting some thickness out of it while well, I still can. And then I just, uh, it's really tedious, but slowly collar it in. out of it and you're still pulling because you're, you're kind of grabbing a, a divot like this and pulling it up so the um, walls don't get too thick. Um, you need lots of lubrication and a light touch for this um, and when it starts getting taller to avoid it from um, getting all wavy you need to do a one-handed <clears throat> pull on it. It's kind of wanting to start doing that now. Let's see if we can get one more pull. Before it starts wanting to go crazy on us. Almost. So, um, just so it's easier to control here, um, <clears throat> I just put my finger in the tip here and I use my crib. trying to straighten it out a little bit. It doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to be long and hollow. You see I've got this nice angle down here at the bottom. That's where that 45 degree angle there comes into play. this top up so it has a little bit more stability when I'm moving it around since I got to cut it off the hump here <clears throat> so it's not perfect it doesn't have to be so I'm happy with that so I'm gonna try to cut it off below where I opened it so it's still a solid piece set it on there. Alright, set that aside. Now, there's two more pieces. So, we've got the actual bowl itself now. And then, um, the uh, mouthpiece. So for the actual bowl itself, it's just like a, what well, you can imagine. 
just a small hollow tube, straight sided. It's supposed to look like a spray paint sprayer thing. in a bit because it's this is going to be the bottom of it and it's got to fit in this tube at least a little bit Set it on there. And now for the mouthpiece. So, a couple more minutes on my video camera here. So, this is just going to look a lot like the uh, downspout. a straight sided cylinder. Once again, the thinner you get it now, the thinner it'll be when it's a tube. Everything from here on is, is a real light touch. Lots of lubrication, light touch, steady. Oh, my beans are done soaking. One second. Use my rib to smooth this out. And 
those are the parts. So I will go ahead and um, let these set up for a bit and then I'll uh, see you again when I put them all back together. Or put them all together. All right. Go. that's all the pieces right there it's kind of a lot of work but they do look pretty cool so um, I'll get back to you when this stuff is all set up <clears throat> all right so it's been a couple hours I got my all the pieces here I think they're all ready to go so let's get started our base here and then um, we got our little dome thingy so we'll start by cutting this off I think everything's pretty leather hardy maybe not quite <clears throat> so we will start by this here dome ready. Clean off my exacto blade. Alright, so I just I take it off and I just take the exacto blade and kind of cut out this little inner flange. <clears throat> Nothing too exciting this step. Just kind of dry fit it and see how it fits in there. Maybe just a little bit. A little bit too big, so I'll just uh, go around the outer edge here and kind of take off a little bit. Kind of like we're thumbing it off if you. Uh, You don't throw a foot on your mugs, you know what thumbing off is. Alright, so <clears throat> I've got these two pieces here. We'll just go ahead and uh, score this. I don't really need to score and slip. They're still really. I wouldn't consider this leather hard yet but it's getting here towards the end of the day so I'll just give this a quick score and slip just to be safe brush here, get some slip from our throwing water, just paint it on. Add this piece, try to keep it centered, squeeze it down. go with my paintbrush around the edge here and then <clears throat> a, uh, a tool I use a lot is this just a rubber tip um, little I don't know what the hell they're called but just got a little rubber tip on it and just uh, smooth this uh, connection point here and go ahead and hold it from the inside too to get you know, 
make sure it's nice and connected. <clears throat> All right, so we got that. Let's touch up this little edge here too. Um, make it look more rolled, like rolled steel. Pick off your little nuggets. All right. <clears throat> Now we got this piece here, so we will, this is the down, down stem is what it's called, if you're, uh, if you got your bong anatomy, uh, merit badge, but, uh, we, uh, take this, kind of center it-ish doesn't have to be perfectly straight centered but we will uh, score this too this is the boring part scoring and slipping and there's a lot of it in, when you're assembling one of these at least so far Give it a quick little score and uh, get our little paintbrush here with some slip on it. Slip that up a bit. Oh, and before you attach this make sure there's a hole in the bottom so I usually will cut a little tip off of here and then <clears throat> ream it out with the exacto blade um, make sure that there's a nice little opening otherwise it won't work very well will it all right <clears throat> put that down in there kind of get it situated all right that looks good kind of give it a little, little tappity tap tap and then I just uh, go again with my rubber tool here and kind of touch that little joint up now I'm gonna cut this off you know about two three millimeters above the connection point And then I'll grab a sponge and sponge this so that it looks like a little rolled, a little rolled steel rim there too. And that looks great. And I'll grab our little bowl piece here. It should just sit down right into that, just like that. So, let's go ahead and <clears throat> score down in, into this uh, stem here. We'll score this too. Right at the junction, the angled area. Just something like that. Some more slip. I'll plop that down, kind of get it fairly centered, and then tap, tap, tap it into place. Give it a little second to adhere there. And we'll just cut it off like that. And then, um, 
you might have to go in uh, with a trimming tool to kind of get this thinned out to where you want it. Um, just keep in mind this is going to shrink about 10% when it's fired so you can um, you want to make sure that you've got <clears throat> a big enough area for the uh, tobacco to uh, to sit. Yeah, other than that, <clears throat> I'm just going to take a little bit more off of here. That's the uh, that's the little spray uh, nozzle, and then um, for the handle, you know, I like I like a handle that's at about you know forty five degrees or a little less. We'll just. Uh, it's kind of like attaching a spout to a um, teapot if you've done that. Hopefully you have if you're watching this. Teapots are pretty obligatory. You gotta make some teapots before you make the uh, bubblers. just come off kind of like that. It's not quite 45. We'll, we'll take a little bit more off here. That's looking pretty good. So, just touch this up. Kind of, you know, it's really soft still, so good and bad. It'll be easier to kind of press into place, but a little harder to cut stuff off of it. So, a little bit more off this top angle here. There we go. All right, and so you want it up here above the where the water level might be. And just kind of roughly mark out where it's. I'm gonna attach and then um, the hole ain't very big so just kind of cut yourself a little hole like that smooth the inside out not that anybody will ever see it but and then just a uh, scorn slip here truth, right? Place it on there. Get that thing, you know, somewhat even if you need to. Uh, look at it from a different angle. Looks pretty good there. So I'll just squeeze it into place. Smooth it out. some of that slip coming out <clears throat> and then once again this little smoothing tool I'll just go around the the edge of it and there we go
can use your sponge to kind of smooth that out a bit. And that is a spray can bubbler. Um, I'll let you use your imagination as to uh, how this is uh, used and what's consumed within, but kind of just a nice, fun little form. Um, hopefully, you know, since the uh, cannabis industry is doing so well right now, hopefully people are needing things to consume that out of. Um, <clears throat> If it's not legal in your state, don't make one. Um, if it is, go for it. But yeah, thanks for watching.